to the works. Uh, let's, start, let's start here. Let's start here. When, when I came here, I wanted to see your dress. I, I wanted to see this dress. <coughs> Amen. Because it's your birthday. Not like a birthday, Alina. Let's read the scriptures. Are you John 19. Are you booking your journey, chapter 19? From verse 8 to 15. Are you about verse 18? Are you there or 15? John 19. John 19. From verse 8 to 15. It was 8 to 15. Verse 15. It says, so when Pilate heard this said, he was even more alarmed and afraid. He went into the praetorium again and said to Jesus, where are you from? But Jesus did not answer him. So Pilate said to him, you do not speak to me. Do you not know that I have authority to release you? And I have authority to crucify you. Jesus answered, You would have no authority over me at all if it had not been given to you from above. For this reason, the sin and guilt of the one who handed me over to you is greater than your own. As a result of this, Pilate kept making efforts to release him. But the Jews kept screaming, If you release this man, you are no friend of Caesar. Anyone who makes himself out to be a king opposes Caesar and rebels against the emperor. When Pilate heard this, he brought Jesus out and sat down on his judgment seat at a place called the pavement, but in Hebrew, Gabata. Now it was the day of preparation for the Passover week, and it was about the sixth hour, meaning noon. He said to the Jews, look, your king. But they shouted, away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priest answered, We have no king but Caesar. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I'm just praying my heart so that you understand this message. Uh, because to me, it's very difficult to preach the messages I want the Holy Spirit to help us God has created us with his purposes right God's purpose in my life God's purpose in my life you cannot fulfill God's purpose until you discover who you are. You need to know who you are. I want to give introduction about myself. I have discovered who I am. After I have discovered, I have discovered myself that no one can help me except one who called me. So I cannot blame anyone. You cannot blame someone who 
When you discover, you are able to live better. You are able to find some ways out. So after I've discovered this, I was I discovered that in my calling, I must be depressed, oppressed, as much as the apostles faced this. I must be rejected. And the more I face this, it defines my calling. If I don't go through that, I'm not what I say I am. Can you see when you find God's purpose, you begin to rejoice in shame. You begin to rejoice in because you understand yourself. You are supposed to go through that. God's purpose describes your existence and why you exist in this world. You are described by God. why you are here. And when you are here, the purpose of God must bring forth the destiny that is set for you. When you go to the left, to the right, you are going to How are you going to left, to the right, to the right, and everything serves that purpose. If you are hearing me say it. Amen. So I have discovered that I rejoice. When I rejoice, I found myself flowing better. This makes me to change how I preach. That if I preach shouting, out of my purpose, it's possible no one can hear me. So, therefore, I must not preach to please anyone. I understand my purpose. That I am not here to be pleased. I am not here to be pleased. I am not here to be pleased. I am not here to be God who called you. That's purpose everywhere. Every step you take. When the purpose of God is fulfilled, it brings forth God's will. So now look here. Where we have read it. Pilate Pilato was having apparel of showing he had authority over Jesus. And when he questioned Jesus, Jesus knew that he was there because of God's purpose. Jesus knew that he himself was there because of himself God's purpose. And now, Pilate was not understanding. It's only when Jesus revealed that Pilate, what you are telling me now, you have got no power over me unless it was given from above. I'm here to fulfill my purpose. And you, you are helping me to fulfill the purpose of God in my life. The Bible says, 
began to search for ways of releasing Jesus. Are you hearing that? But he failed. He brought Jesus to a place called Gabata. Where now everybody who accuses him can accuse him better. So that he will be free. Like he's the one, he's not the one who's judging. He says, what must I do? What must I do with your king? They say, you crucify me. Remember, he was afraid. And he said, I don't want to crucify him. Now I know if I do that, I have got no power over this man. And this man, he knows himself. I want to save myself from this situation. But still, he I'm here to tell you that there are some people here. Even if we pray for them to change. Not to attack you or to stop you. They won't change because they are serving a purpose. They help you to go to your destiny. Sometimes praying for people. To change is a waste. Not because they are there. Placed by God for you to fulfill God's purpose. They can still pressurize you. Even when they want to come out, they fail. Even when they want to stop, they will fail. Why? Because you are there for God's purpose. Soon, the will of God will happen. If you are hearing me say, Amen. When Pilate saw that he has failed and he handed Jesus and Jesus was crucified. There are words that Jesus said before before he said, said, you who did this, you are better but the one who accused you is having a greater sin. That's why Pilate fought all the way up. I'm here to tell you that around you, you are surrounded. Don't forget God's purpose in your life. Whoever pressurizes, whoever try whatever is try, don't answer him. Jesus never wanted to answer him. He never answered Pilate. And that's why Pilate was saying, that is why Pilate I've got authority over I'm you. here to tell you, those who think they have authority over you, they don't know that they are there for God's purpose. And I can see someone who's trying to oppress you where you're working. Is for God's purpose. Fear nothing is for God's purpose. I can see someone who tried to find ways to pull you down. I'm here to tell you allow the purpose of God to prevail in your life. Soon you will give a test. Soon the resurrection power will manifest in your life. If you are hearing me say I hear you. What is the purpose of God? I just want us to look at the purpose of God. The purpose of God in your life is there because there is something you are tailor-made with. There is something, the shape you have. The body you have. The structure. There is something that God wants to talk about you. Your, your, your existence to bring forth 
something. You're not there by mistake. So, so you are born because God wants to do something. If you are hearing me say, So the purpose of God is there. To reveal his hand around, around there. So you, you were brought so that the hand of God would be clear. Listen, number, I want to tell you this. What is the importance of the purpose of God? The purpose of God, number one, when it comes upon you, you're born with it, is there to help someone? If the purpose in you is not to help someone, the purpose of God in you, number two, is there for you to carry out a mission. There's a mission. Something Something that that you are created to do. That nobody cannot do. And only you can do. Sometimes I'm sure you know why you are different. There is something that God different. wants you to do that nobody in your family has ever done. Nobody in your village can do. Nobody in the city. No one looks like another. No one can be like another. So there's a purpose of God that God wants you to do. You are in a mission. So you are in a mission. Tell you you are in a mission. Because you are in a mission, Mission. Whatever that is called mission, it moves. if it is moving, it's entangled. There are some things that, that, that thing goes through. Challenges, Challenges on, the on the road. Problems on the road. But you're in a mission. There are some people who are here today. You look like you're going nowhere. Because there's a challenge on the road. But you're in a mission. Tell yourself I'm in a mission. As I'm in a mission, the mission of God will prevail. In other words, the plan of God will prevail. The mission is the plan. What God wants to do with you, you want to carry out his plan out of your life. You know, uh, in my family, there's something that I want to tell you so that you understand my message. My father, when he was still alive, he had three, three children. So he came to speak in our church. When we were going to that church. But I didn't show us the instructions. I never traveled in so he said, he saw someone showing him one that there are three children. In these three children, there's this one who wear a gown which is red. But there's this one who's wearing a gown which is ring chains. But there's this other one who's wearing a gown that he doesn't understand. So he said, look at the gown of the one he doesn't understand. Say, he doesn't understand this gown. So my, in my family, there was issues of holes. There will be three children. When we were growing. So therefore, one gown here, if it's red, it means someone will be educated. So there was issues of I want to be educated and better than another. But the one of chain was not known. It looks like it's political. But there was this one that no one I mean when you look at it it doesn't understand. My father will be looking at us. And then we end up passing on. And then truly we never saw me. Because I was not in the church. 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 Because I was not in
Today, I'm wearing the gown that he never understood. He never understand that gown. And since I wear that gown, there are people that I was born with, they are cry to wear it. Oh because they saw the gown that I'm wearing, to make me to have money better than the gown of education. Now everybody wants to be a pastor. Even those who are not saved, they want to be a pastor. So the moment when I found, oh, it was my girl, which my father was not understanding when I was born, I didn't understand the church. I didn't understand what was happening. This is what the gown. And this gown now doesn't look like profession. That's why my father was not understanding this. I don't know if you're hearing me. You are wearing a gown. It's God's purpose. And And no one will take it away from you. I said the purpose of God will prevail. There are people who don't understand. Even your parents. But you are bound to carry on wearing. Soon you will be revealed. I see God's purpose being revealed in your life. If you are here, we say amen. Let's read scriptures we stop. Let's read Romans 12 verse 2. Romans 12 verse 2. I want us to start with this verse. And just to be conformed to this world any longer with superficial values and custard. Amen. But be transformed progressively change as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind. Amen. For casting on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourself what the will of God is so that you may prove for yourself. Listen, if you want God's purpose to manifest in your life, let it start from your mind. Be transformed. Be renewed. It's time now that you take what the word of God says to discover yourself. You know what the Bible says? It says the superficial veil and custom but be transformed. It says be transformed and progressively change as you mature spiritually. In other words, you cannot fulfill God's purpose in your life until you are matured in the spirit. Are you hearing that? You need to be transformed. You need to reason as, as a child of God to find yourself. This time you are copying other people. When someone tries to do business, you want to do business. it. And you find that it's not God's purpose in your life. When someone is a prophet, you want to be a prophet. And you find that it's not God's purpose in your life. Change the the way you think and first and align yourself with the scriptures and Trans- be transformed. Change how you think. Take the scriptures to be part of you. So that you prove what is the will of God for you. The moment when you discover the will of God, every step you take, it will be God's purpose. Every step you take, it will be what God wants, which is will take you to your destiny. If you are hearing me say amen. Let's go back and read the scripture. In Romans 8, verse 28 to 29, 28 to 29. We know with great confidence that God is deeply concerned about us. Causes all things to work together. God causes all things to work together. As a plan for good. 
When you are in God's purpose, God causes all to work together as a plan for you to fulfill God's purpose. Whatever you are going through, you are born in this family where there is nothing. It's a plan of God for God's purpose in your life. Everything that is bad or good, it works to bring forth God's purpose in your life. Today, as I'm speaking with you, don't laugh at the person who's having legs. Don't laugh at the person who's down. Because you don't know God's purpose about that person. Somebody might be preparing for the best. When it looks like it's over with it. There are some people who are here, it looks like it's over with it. But God's purpose prevailed. I thank God that God's purpose it affect our decisions and bring forth characters that, that shows we are with God. I don't know if you're hearing me. It affect our decisions. There are some decisions that we take. We find ourselves in a drought position. We find ourselves in dry land. We begin to lose some things. But I'm here to tell you as long as we are in as the long step as that was ordered by God. God of mercy will take us to our destiny. I see someone who's here. It looks like it's over with you. Because I want to tell you something. When you're in God's purpose, when things are tough not. You are just satisfied that you are planted there. Uh, I don't know if you are It's when you are matured in the spirit. You, you don't, don't care, care what you will benefit, benefit or not. not. You are excited because of what is coming. It looks like it's not happening, but it's on the way. It looks like it's over, but it's on the way. So you are becoming excited because of the certain view. There is something you are seeing which is there. So you don't worry about what you are facing here. But you are seeing where you are going. I want to prophesy someone here. The stumbling blocks that you are facing are over. I said they are over. You have been looking ahead when the devil is challenging your position. You have been looking ahead when the troubles are mounting. But I am here to tell you the challenges you went through are over. They were there for God's purpose. Listen to this. The challenges that you have been facing were preparing you. They were just preparing you. Making you to be more mature. Making you to be more the best. Making you to, to, to release the best. Now it's time now that the purpose of God in your life will prevail in your life. If you are hearing me, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. There's something that I told Mama. Uh, you know, I've been flying out, uh, flying out, flying out. But I told Mama that I don't even love to fly out. But the, time, but the week of flying, I've been really very worried. Maybe my wife and children, I'll be very, very worried. But that does not stop me. So the purpose of God, when it's defined on you, 
you know, even when you have a certain desire, cannot stop God. I, I told Mama, I said, there are many people who want to fly and, and go to preach outside of the country. But but it's impossible because it's not their place. But look, we are not really happy about it, but it comes. There are some people who are here. There are things that are happening to you. There are things you don't want them. But you still find yourself doing it. I, I, I even told myself, I said, from, from now, now on, I must be happy about my purpose. Can you be happy about the way God doing that? It will, it will be better. I think if you'll be happy, you will go up. If you are happy about God's purpose in your life, God will add more. I see God is adding more. In your life. Look at that verse. He says, For those who ba, he has for new ba, ba, and chose beforehand, ba, he also predestined ba, to be ba, conformed ba, ba, in the image of his son. Ba, what God does here, when he chose you, he sent ba, you to before you reach there. That is the God's purpose. Already God has finished with your end. Before you reach there. Tell me about My God, God has finished with my end. He took you there. But you will not know when you don't know. He took you to the place. And he said, can you see this is the place? And he said, after you have seen this, come now. Come now, you start. This is the beginning. You are going to the place I show you. We need Christians who know where they are going. I don't know if you are hearing They know where they are going. So when they meet a problem on the road, they say, we know where we are going. When they are challenged, they say, we know where we are going. Listen to this. When you begin to discover yourself, you discover yourself is when he took you there and showed you this is canon. This is, this is your canon. This is your house. This is your money. This is everything. And he said, listen now. You have to serve my to purpose to reach there. I'm taking you back. I'm taking you back. That, that one is your destiny. As you can see now, you're starting. Take a step. When you take a step, you meet a challenge. But don't forget that you are in a purpose to go there to your destiny. I've shown you the end. So move forward. So when you are going, when you meet something happening, you say, thank you, God. It's working well. You take me there. You meet a problem or sickness. You say, thank you, God. It's taking me there. So you are not complaining about what you are meeting here. Because you know what you are meeting is taking you there. I say it's taking you there. I see a leg of a job is taking you there. Poverty is taking you there. Rejection is taking you there. What is it that you are facing? It's taking you there. So what is it that you are facing? You are facing what you are facing. But it's taking you there. You are facing what you are facing. But it's taking you there. There's a leg in your life that is taking you there. There's a rejection in your life that is taking you there. There's a failure in your life. You don't care about it. You are going there. If you are hearing me shout, hallelujah. That's how I learned. I began to laugh at my challenge. I began to say, ah, 
I don't care what they are saying. I don't care what I have experienced. It's part of me. I'm taken there. Today I'm here. Listen to me, I forget the past. I look forward. Because there's a crown in front of me. So I cannot be proud of any achievement. Because God is taking me there. That is taking me somewhere. I'm not proud of where I am. I don't care what I'm facing. My God is taking me there. There's a destiny that was set for me. So I'm not afraid of a failure. I'm not afraid of a difficulty. Why? Because my God is taking me to a place. He has shown me. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you are questioning what is happening with you is because of what God has prepared for you. There is something so big that nobody can help. It looks like it's over with you. Don't question what you are going through. Listen, there is something better than what you have lost. Allow God to take you there. If you hear me shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. When I'm preaching here, because I'm here to preach. I'm here to preach and prophesy someone here. Someone who says it's over with me. Why my life is like this? Hey, there's gospel purpose. Is that in your purpose? There's a failure. Is that in your purpose? There's a shame. Is that in your purpose? There's a lack. Is that in your purpose? In your purpose. I got a purpose away. Things that you entangled on your road. Things that will challenge you on the road. I say, just carry on. Just I'm carry on. here to tell you and I'm declare you, say, just carry on. Can I tell you something? One of the purpose I went through, I found that when I was going through the pe that purpose, when I was moving, you know, I began to hear people laughing at me. I just remember that. I, yeah, I people can I laugh at you. Laugh at you. Laugh. Like, oh, shame. shame. And you know, they are not only laughing at you, they are also laughing at your parents. They are also laughing at your parents. So, but can I tell you this? I went through that. I hear people laughing. And I said, what is happening? I said, God. I need to discover my purpose. Because the more you are pressurized, is the more when you open your eyes, you need to see who you are and why you are experiencing it. And when I open my eyes, I just found myself holding the Bible, going to the bush. I found myself, after I discovered, I said, this is my way. God is revealing to me, this is my way. So the more I take that direction, it was like I was provoking them to carry on laughing. But now they are laughing even on the step I take. They say, I'm shame, it's a failure, I'm broken with it. But nobody laughs now. Allow your enemy to laugh. Soon it will be quiet. Let me prophesy you. This is the word of declaration. From today, God will reveal you to yourself. And whatever you will start to do, you will never fail. You will never fail. The past is my past. I will never fail. If you believe, shout hallelujah. Because I'm seeing you coming. I say, I'm seeing you coming. Check somebody and say, hey, my friend, you will never fail. When I look at you, you are because, because this is not your preaching. When I look at you, already you are down. Because when you look at your life, nothing is happening. Can I tell you, it's because there's God's purpose. That's why the devil is challenging you. He's challenging you. I see you overcoming. Let's look at another scripture. Let's go, go to another scripture now. Arrest. 
Look at Psalm 57. Verse 2 to 7. This scripture, after I read it, I must say, God, help us. Can you read, Mama? I will cry to God most high. Yes. Who accomplishes all things on my behalf. For he completes my purpose in his plan. He will send from heaven and save me. And calls to he calls to account to account to him who tramples me down, Selah. God will send out his loving kindness and his truth. My life is among lions. I must lie among those who breathe out fire. The sons of men whose teeth are spears and arrows, and their tongue a sharp sword. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Let your glory and majesty be over all the earth. They set a net for my steps. My very life was bowed down. They dug a pit before me. Into the midst of it, they themselves have fallen. Fella. My heart is steadfast, O oh God. My heart is steadfast and confident. I will sing, yes, I will sing praises to you. Amen. Amen. Did you hear that scripture? It's time now that you now, need to know that people are not different with lions. People are not different with lions. It's only God who will bring a solution from above. People are not different with lions. When you look around, you will understand that not all people around you are people. You know what David said here? He says, I will cry to God most high. Because he is the one who completes his plan about me. Because if I cry to people, they will talk about it. I will cry to God. They surrounded me this morning to devour me. It's only you, God, who can save <laughs> me. Because I'm already in your <laughs> purpose. When David was speaking this, <laughs> I felt Jesus, but I prayed this. I went to a place where in Jerusalem. Where there was a prison where they put Jesus. It was a hole. A hole that, you know, when you're supposed to be taken out, they throw a rope. You just throw a rope there. You hold that rope. And you climb that tree when they are pulling it out. Even when they put you, go inside through the rope. They tell you to leave the rope. Jesus was there. I saw on the wall. I saw the place where the face of Jesus was there. And then I asked, and that man was saying, The reason why this place formed the face of Jesus. It means Jesus was praying like that. He was hitting the place until the place became a hole of 15 centimeters. And now, when you look at the place, it no, forms, no, the nose is there, the everything inside there. 
So I began to think, what so is it that Jesus was saying? These are the ways that Jesus was saying. Can you just read that verse again? Because he wanted to fulfill God's purpose. Can you just read the words again? I will cry to God most high, uh -huh. who accomplishes all things on my behalf, for he completes my purpose in his plan. He completes my purpose in his plan. Okay, he will send from heaven and save me. He calls to account him who tramples with who tramples me down. God will send out his loving kindness and his truth. He will call to account to the one who's trembling me down. Carry on My life is among lions. I must lie among those who breathe out fire. The my, sons my of my life is among lions. When when Jesus was going through this, earth, because, because he was there and people <laughs> were like changed. That there was no compassion in them. I don't know where, what you are going through. Sometimes you go through things that you ask yourself. Why yourself? But God's plan is fulfilled in his will for you. I don't know if you are hearing me. God's plan is already fulfilled is already fulfilling in your life. So you are supposed to serve your purpose. And you will make it. It looks like it's over with you. But I'm here to tell you it's the beginning. The grace of God will follow you. It will locate you. And God will raise you up. Surrounded with wrong people altogether. Surrounded with evil people. Don't forget God's purpose. Don't look at them. Understand why you are there. Sometimes you need to understand the reasons why you are there. Whatever they do on you is fine, but understand why you are there. The will of God will prevail. The purpose of God will be clear to you. You won't have fear. You won't worry. It will encourage you to pray the more. It will encourage you to stand up and pray the more. If you are hearing me shout hallelujah, Hallelujah. Can you just read? Uh, they dug a pit before me. Can you just read there? My life is amongst lions. I must lie among those who uh, breathe out fire. Yes. The sons of men whose teeth are spears and, and arrows, arrows yes. and their tongue sharp, a sharp sword. Be exalted above the heavens, O God. Uh -huh. Let your glory and majesty be over all the earth. They set a net for my steps. My very life was bowed down. They dug a pit before me. Into the midst of it, they themselves have fallen. My heart is steadfast, O oh God. My heart is steadfast and confident. I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises to you. Did you hear the scripture? We need to be steadfast <laughs> and have confidence. Whatever they are doing, whatever you are going through, just be steadfast and have confidence you will see. There's a scripture here in the book of Proverbs 19, verse 21. I can conclude by this thing. <coughs> it says many are plans in a man's mind. But it is the Lord's purpose for him that will stand and be carried out. Today we are going to pray. We need to know God's purpose. When we face challenges, we will be steadfast. 
will stand our ground. Because we know where we are going. We understand our destiny. I don't know if you're hearing me. 